I'm Suzanne Elton. I am a hand surgeon at Kansas City Bone and Joint Clinic. I specialize in the treatment of hand and upper extremity conditions. One of the most common conditions that I see and treat is carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is a condition where numbness and tingling of the hands is noted. Often patients notice that at night their hands go to sleep. Often they attribute this to things that they are doing, like sleeping on it wrong, but that can just be a symptom of carpal tunnel itself, not necessarily anything that's being done wrong by the patient. Um, patients with carpal tunnel also notice that they may have some difficulty with dexterity, like buttoning buttons, um, with writing, maybe putting jewelry on, putting earring backs on. Um, those sorts of things can always be difficult just because of the carpal tunnel itself. And so then, conversely, those things can be reversed once the syndrome is treated. So there's different options to treat carpal tunnel syndrome. Usually we start by diagnosing carpal tunnel syndrome to ensure that there is actually a problem going on in the hand. Often other things can mimic carpal tunnel syndrome, problems with the neck or nerves that are pinched in the upper part of the shoulder or the neck area. Carpal tunnel syndrome is actually a pinched nerve in the hand where the median nerve, the carpal tunnel nerve, is pinched right in this area. Um, a test called an EMG is generally performed at some point in the diagnostic process to allow us to determine the nature of the condition, so if it is carpal tunnel, and then how severe the condition is. And we use that information regarding the severity of carpal tunnel to suggest different treatment options. Some, some easy things that can be tried regardless of how severe the condition is are changing some behaviors, um, so modifying workstations. If, if your hands are going numb as you're typing or using the mouse, we can help you figure out ways to adjust those situations so you are not having problems with your symptoms being provoked during activities. Carpal tunnel can also be treated by wearing splints at night. So normally at night, people tend to sleep with their hands bent a bit like this, and that can provoke some carpal tunnel symptoms. So with the splint wear, the hand is kept straight, and the hands can not tend to go numb at night as often. Sometimes carpal tunnel can be a little more severe, and those non-surgical treatments aren't able to provide relief. In those situations, there are surgical options to treat carpal tunnel syndrome too. So with some types of carpal tunnel syndrome surgery and incisions made in the palm, the treatment that I like best for carpal tunnel syndrome is an endoscopic release, where instead of uh, an incision that's usually about the distance of the palm, smaller incisions are placed in the palm and one in the wrist, so small five millimeter incisions. Um, the placement of those incisions causes a little less pain, um, a little less change in the function of the hand after surgery. So patients generally report that they're able to more easily go back to their activities. The surgery is generally performed in an outpatient setting, so no hospital stays required. Patients also usually are able to do the surgery under a local anesthetic with sedation, so not requiring a general anesthetic for the procedure. After surgery, the sutures or stitches are generally removed in about seven to 10 days. Um, and use of the hand, including hand washing, is actually allowed around 48 hours after surgery. So carpal tunnel syndrome is often a procedure and a diagnosis that brings fear to mind, but it's easily treatable. Generally after treatment, the hand can return to normal. It tends not to come back. And overall, patients are usually very pleased with their outcomes and would recommend it to a friend or family member.